Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a very basic video. We're going to be explaining harness wiring. So when I'm referring to harness wiring, I'm strictly applying this to a head unit upgraded installation. So technically a harness could be anything from in a car to other devices, but today we're just going to go over a deck install or an in-dash video. It's going to be pretty much all relatively the same. So here is the harness out of an Alpine head unit, and over here I have an aftermarket harness for Honda from Best Kits. Inside, they do come with all the labeling. So basically, I'm just going to be describing everything that's set over here and what these wires actually do and mean. For today's explanation, I am going to be showing you outside of the car and inside of the car with a test tool to show you exactly what the wires are doing because just by looking at it and talking about it, we can't exactly get the point straight across. So whenever you're doing a deck install, we're going to start with the wires that actually turn the vehicle on. That would be these three right here. Now, yellow is constant power, black is ground, red is the accessory wire, which turns off and on typically with a key. In some applications, you might have a switch if you're in some sort of other vehicle and you don't have a key. Other wires that are important to note are this blue wire, which will either be amp turn on or power antenna control. So this wire will receive 12 volts from the aftermarket head unit to operate the, after, uh, to operate the factory amplifier or the antenna. Next we have orange wires. We have solid and one with a white stripe. Now this is going to be illumination and dimmer. Typically when testing with the dimmer fully on, they're going to react the same. What the dimmer wire does is on some head units, as you turn the dimmer down for your gauges, making it how bright the gauge cluster is, will also affect the head unit as well. So check your owner's manual on your aftermarket head unit if it is compatible with that wire. After that, you're just left with your speaker wires. Now there's going to be solid wire, a solid color, and one with a black stripe. Just the color is going to be positive, black stripe is going to be negative. So white, front left, gray, front right, green, rear left, purple, rear right. Basically when you're controlling on this harness, on your fade and your balance, you have to get those wires correct because when you fade to different corners of the vehicle, that's where the head unit is going to send the power or the signal to the speakers or reduce the signal. So now we're going to go into the car and I'm going to demonstrate and show you what the wires and how they react and how to test for it inside the vehicle. This is only regarding the power wires. When it comes to speaker wires, you'll have to use a 9 volt on the harness if you'd like to actually pop them. You don't have to. Or just do all your hookups and turn on the head unit and then just listen for music. Now we're in a vehicle, we're in a 2005 Cobalt, and this particular example, it is using a module, but the wires are going to act the exact same. So I have my power probe through here, you can use any multimeter or test light to verify this. So we're going to start here, at the power line. I also turn on the audible speaker so you can hear it go off. Based on what you saw on the power probe, you can see that this is going to show 12 volts positive, no matter what. During the crank cycle, everything, lights on, turn on anything, it will always stay red. Okay, now we're going to show you accessory. Now, this is either going to show you ground or weak ground or completely open showing nothing. So in this case, it's showing nothing. We're going to turn the accessory on. And now we're registering 11.6. Now on a power probe, it doesn't actually light up the light or set off the speaker until you hit 12, but that is the positive line we need to see. Turning it off again to verify and opening the door because it has retained accessory power. Because if you don't open the door, it's just going to stay on in this particular vehicle. And it's open, showing nothing. Moving on to ground or the black wire. Now this one's going to show ground or should show ground all the time. And it should show you on this particular test tool, green and zero. See here. Now that will always stay green or ground at all times. Doesn't matter if you turn on the lights, it doesn't matter if you crank anything. If you're seeing something different when you turn on the lights, then you probably have illumination. So get off that line. This is only relevant when you're doing a hardware when you don't have color coding. 
but you always want to verify your wires. Next we're doing illumination. Now this could be orange or orange and white. Now it's either going to go positive and it can also reduce voltage if it's a dimmer wire. So that's when you have an orange and white. So we're going to verify that. So it's just showing us what we ground, not doing anything, we're turning the lights. Now we're just doing 11.4 volts, and we're just going to dim it as well. So it stays steady 11.3, so this is just an illumination wire. So hopefully guys, I gave you a better understanding of what all this wiring means. I will post on the video other videos on how to make wiring connections and how to do a head unit install as well.